there are 20 amino acids that are typically used for common protein production inside of our bodies. And we can think of these kind of like puzzle pieces. As we begin putting puzzle pieces together, you get an overall full picture. As you begin piecing together different amino acids, you get a full protein. And these proteins are critical for tons of different processes inside of our bodies. These include hormone production, talking and communication between cells, as well as repairing and growing of our tissues, and many other functions. However, we can break these amino acids into two main groups, the essential amino acids and the non-essential amino acids. And today we'll focus on the 11 non-essential amino acids, meaning that our bodies know how to make these amino acids for protein production. Now these 11 amino acids include alanine, asparagine, arginine, aspartic acid, cysteine, glutamic acid, glutamine, glycine, proline, serine, and tyrosine. And even though our bodies know how to make these amino acids, it's still really important that we have an overall well-balanced diet related to amino acid and protein production. And that's because often a lot of these non-essential amino acids are actually made from essential amino acids through different enzymes that our bodies produce. So this is a recycling mechanism that is built into our cells to allow for different amino acids to be made as different proteins are required for a variety of different processes.